Ilfracoon. 7 a.m. The challenge begins. 90 miles of spectacular Devon Hills lay ahead of us. Well, we're raising some money for Southwest Children's Hospice. Jake and I, stupidly, are going to be cycling from here down to Exmouth. We've got the team helping us to cover some of that with running, walking, cycling as well. We're walking from here, which is Flemington, to Kiddyford. Raised lots of money already and um, hopefully lots more today as well. We have no idea where we are. The girls on bikes have managed to get lost, putting them well behind time. But after a quick stop to work out where they were, they really had to put the hammer down for the rest of their stint. There was a bridge, and we didn't go over it. <laughs> As the girls were coming to the end of their trail, Jake and I were now behind, battling against severe wind and rain. We needed to be back in Crediton to link up with James and the rest of the team or the challenge could be in jeopardy. Although we made good time through Hatherley and Winkley, the clock was ticking and the decision was made for James to leave Crediton without us. This leg of the challenge took James out of Crediton on the A377 he couldn't afford to hang around with an expectant team of more cyclists and runners waiting for him in Exwick, ready to start the final push to Exmouth. We're now in Exeter, we're heading down to Topsham, Limpstone, Exton and down to Exmouth. I'm actually quite excited but nervous at the same time. Hopefully find a, a nice dry towel and a nice cold cider perhaps. <laughs> As the runners and bikers were nearing Exmouth, Jake and I were pushing hard. Too hard. I snapped a spoke and it was game over for me. Exmouth, 5pm. We've done it. Coast to Coast Challenge complete.